Just days ago, cancel culture resistant YouTuber James Charles announced the upcoming release of the second product from his makeup brand, Painted. It's a collection of neutral eyeshadows called the Basic Canvas, which even he admits is neither unique to the market nor necessary for purchase. So then how is the once legendary beauty guru going to get thousands of people to cough up their hard earned money for his latest creation? Well, he's probably not, first of all. Sales seem low. But if we know James Charles, then he's always going to give it the old college or preferably still in high school try. Which is why he recently uploaded a glossy, professional looking little skit to announce his new product and poke fun at all of the past iterations of his persona that have populated social media over the last decade. And oh boy, it was a lot. Like even for James Charles, it was a lot of James. I'm talking about several Jameses. I'm talking dozens of false lashes, quadruple cut crease, both exposed cheek levels of James Charles. In this commercial, James more or less reenacts his public history of not knowing how to act on the internet, while also further revealing that he does not know how to act on the internet. So while James may not be earning an Oscar for this autobiographical performance, at least he can always fall back on his beautiful singing voice, parentheses, sarcastic inflection. Sorry, I have to read the screen direction because everybody just laughs when I ask what that word means. Because the whole world is just born knowing what sarcasm is and perfectly replicating it. Pfft. Everybody but me, me. You see how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. So you're wash out your makeup brushes and warm up your vocal cords because James Charles is taking us back to basics in a bad way for today's Hey Sisters installment of Clip Breakdown. Hello, television viewers, my name is Nick. Thank you so much for joining me once again on my channel for another installment of Clip Breakdown. This is the playlist where we dive into our favorite movies, TV movies, and other such content here on the web, and we break it down like it's a basic canvas that your boring face is painted on to look at each individual clip and clop and decide if this is a shimmery highlight or a matte shade great for the crease of your eye socket bone. And mama, today we are looking at a whole range of beige in this James Charles announcement, which I originally saw on TikTok. He released a widescreen version on YouTube, however, that's what we'll be looking at today. He's acting, sister is acting today. She said, I'm going to snatch the Nickelodeon movie awards and we'll give it to him. But first, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. That way you never miss new videos from me. I would love if you could like click that subscribe button right over here. That way you never miss new videos from me. As I just said, hit the notification bell icon and you'll be the first to know when I have a brand new launch in my brand called Tainted. <laughs> It's makeup for your taint. Why did I have to say that? It could have just been implied. It's okay. Mwah. If you're watching this the day it comes out, I'm in Puerto Vallarta right now. Don't dox me, bro. I'm talking to myself. Anyway, I'm having a great time, I'm sure. Still have to pack as of recording this, so that's good. But this is not about me, okay? This is about James. We were all waiting to see after the mixed reception of his original product, which were these face paints that we didn't need, and also a product that seemed to have issues with the formulation not being super consistent or long wearing which is definitely two claims that he made when he was touting the product. But hey, maybe we'll have better luck with his first powder product. Also, more neutral colors, right? Like clearly he wants to be an everyday brand for the average makeup user. When he launched the paints, he was like, it's not something that everyone's gonna know how to use right off the bat. And it's like, don't tell don't us tell that. that. The marketing has always been off for this brand. I've never had a chance to tell you about it, but oh boy, is this a great opportunity. Let's dive in and see what James has to say for his tainted painted palette. I'm so excited to show you our first ever painted palette. This is the basic canvas. I've been working on this for years and I cannot whoa, wait to show you what's... Whoa, 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 whoa. A new palette? You said I was the only palette anyone would ever <sighs> need. Kinda shot myself in the foot with that one, but... Times have changed a bit. It's true, a few years ago, every parent was getting their kid a James Charles palette. Nowadays, every parent is getting a notification from their kid's school when James Charles purchases a home in their district. Be careful, children. Run away in a zigzag pattern. He's learned how to shoot people in the foot to prevent their escape. I shot myself in the foot with that one. He practiced on himself, that sicko. By the way, I'm making a lot of jokes here. I do not think that grooming children or speaking to underage children from a position of power funny at all. And I will also do 
my due diligence by pointing out that James Charles has never been legally accused of these things, although there are plenty of screenshots, evidence, and even admissions from James himself that he has made this quote unquote mistake several times. That to me does not seem like a problem that gets better with age, only worse. We don't know though. That's all I'm gonna say. That's just my opinion. So as we saw, James was just accosted by a hallucination of his own portrait printed on a discontinued makeup product that he had to discontinue in disgrace. Good start, good start. You also see there the new basic canvas palette with all of those shades. There's basically no good color outside of like earth tones other than that baby pink and that bright red, but it looks like the naked palette. It looks like the, what was the Smashbox one? The like light, the photo shoot edit thing. I don't know, but it, I've had that palette in several iterations from different brands, but I guess Painted needs their own. I just would imagine instead of making it its own singular launch, you would release like a line of eyeshadow palettes, maybe one that goes a little more colorful as we're used to seeing from James Charles with his previous palette and then the basic colors in another so that people can like get what they need and not have to wait till your next launch if they have a thousand of those shades already. But whatever, James, you were you were saying hallucination, James, yes? Uh, like I don't even say the high <laughs> sister. <laughs> Oh fun, he's dressed like that meme that I see everywhere. You know the one it's like openly gay Voldemort? Just kidding. James is making a self-deprecating reference to Flashback Mary, which was the meme based on an unflattering photo that resulted from the silica-based HD finishing powder trend of the early 2010s, when apparently our main pop culture beauty inspirations were the I'm cold ghost from Are You Afraid of the Dark, as well as the ghostly little Japanese boy from The Grudge. Such a scary movie. like. That kid fucking sucked at doing his makeup, but not quite as much as James sucks at providing normal looking reaction shots when he continues to be visited by other ghosts of his former sister selves. This time I'm talking about the figurative kind of ghosts, not the Japanese little boy sitting on the staircase kind of grudge fame. Bring in the Jameses. You've lost your touch. Is there a white shade? No, not in this one. <gasps> Is there a highlighter? <laughs> I don't get it. Why is every era of Charles Charleston being mean to Rachel Maddow over there? And why is she talking like one of the adults in a Peanuts cartoon? Rachel, what have they done to you? Someone help. Early YouTube Chames Charles and viral yearbook photo Charms Girls have kidnapped Rachel Maddow, Jam Jumps, and forced her to try on a bold lip color. No, power lesbians can't wear pink matte lipstick. It provides too much friction when they're eating you monsters! Somebody save her! Her favorite lip color is medicated chapstick! <sighs> These are some of the things that I just don't get to talk about with many people, so thank you for being there for me. Communication is so important, isn't it? Especially in today's hyper-connected world. People have long-distance relationships. People are on their phones and not on each other's faces. How does one maintain healthy communication in a relationship. Well, I have a new tip. I'm gonna share with you something I've been using. It's an app called Paired, the sponsor of today's video. It's a relationship care app that prompts fun, meaningful questions between couples, and it's backed by leading experts and research. I'm not necessarily in an official relationship, but there is a person out of state who works long hours who I wanna get to know better on a deeper level. So I love the Paired app because it offers daily couples questions, relationship games, games, quizzes, even expert video guidance on things like sex and intimacy, but also just communication and growth. And so no matter where you are in your relationship, Paired is a fun and easy way to care for it and nurture that relationship by answering fun quizzes and questions, not just if you're going through a bad patch. These are research-based questions, so it's gonna help bring you closer to the person you're answering with. They're created by relationship therapists and experts with advice for many different situations, and it can encourage even the most stoic, walled off partner to talk more and be more open with communication outside of the app, which I think is really cool. What I love most is that you don't need to be in the same room as your partner or playing the games or answering the questions at the same time. You answer on your own schedule and then when your partner logs into the app, they're able to answer and get the results and back and forth you go. It's like one of those word games on your iPhone, but it's actually helping your love life. I even love that the app sends reminders to your partner to make sure they finish the quiz. And if you're the sentimental 
type, I might be guilty of that. You can even use paired to create a timeline of important events in your relationship. So no matter what stage of relationship you happen to be in, this is an app you will wanna try. Click my link below to get a seven day free trial and 25% off paired premium. So you can maintain and deepen your connection with your partner. Thank you so much to Paired for sponsoring today's video and helping me along my journey to getting to know that special someone. Mwah. Now back to this present day James Charles who had a lot of overacting to do the other day in his sheer designer bodysuit. I noticed that your makeup brand is all about standing out as an artist and being original. And I just want to let you know that ethos is really coming through. From your first launch of unique face paints that are very similar to others already available to this second launch of neutral eyeshadow colors that you can already get everywhere else. And let's not forget the hilarious, completely original concept for this ad, for which Taylor Swift will be seeing you in court. Guys! Stop making that surprise face, it's so annoying. What are you doing? Getting receipts. Uh, I, I would very much like to be excluded from this narrative. Look, James even stole Taylor's inability to play herself on screen. Diabolical, lolical, jollical. I just know Taylor regrets filling that music video with so many references to her private jet that's been melting all of our ice caps, but okay. James is getting a little sister shady with his references in this commercial because he understands the scandals. He reads Twitter, okay? I wanted to make a basic palette that you'd want to bring with you everywhere. Bring me a little water, Sylvie. Shh. A palette part of your everyday routine. Like you wake up, you take your vitamins, you go to work. Not this again. <gasps> oh my God, look at his ass. I was saying. <laughs> wow, Sister James, we are loving this self-awareness. It is hilarious how embarrassing your whole life has been up until and including the last year. And I'm also laughing at your rubber chicken ass cheeks that you still took the opportunity to show us. Are you really even embarrassed for being bare assed at Coachella? Or are you just embarrassed that you tried to get away with it thinking you were above slapping on a coat of Mac face and body fluid? Like, get real. A little sister sheer coverage is something every bossy bottom needs in their summer makeup kit. By the way, him talking about waking up and taking his vitamins, which made Coachella James Charles shake his ass off screen, is referring to his drama when he promoted a competitor to Toddy Westbrook's beauty vitamins when he was promoting Sugar Bear Sleep, which of course launched what is now known in the community as Dramageddon 2.0. Basically drew in a lot of criticism that led to James Charles losing his brand deals and a lot of followers and really made everyone look bad in the beauty community. Also Shane Dawson really really f***ing ate shit with that one, and I owe my whole YouTube career to that event, so sister, shank you. <laughs> he doesn't even say sisters anymore, okay guys? Listen, listen, he just gonna, he's gonna tell you that. He already told you that. I worked really hard on this palette, you guys. I even painted the swatches <sighs> on the front myself. Wow, you're telling me you created those shapeless shit smears of paint without the help of Banksy or the Japanese boy ghost of Vincent Van Gogh? I can tell this packaging is gonna look really chic and elegant next to the other crap being sold at TJ Maxx the day after Christmas. Christmas. The only aspect of James Charles's personality that I relate to is the annoying singing of middle school and high school. I was also in choir and I loved singing Bring Me Little Water Sylvie with my girlfriends because the harmony hits. I cannot stand it now because the nasally tonsily tonsil hockey voice of James Charles just like ruined it for me, but at least he's aware that I feel this way. Maybe let's oh, yeah. you can, none of my friends would do that. Enough! All this criticism from you guys? You need your hair cut, you need your eyebrows cut, you two can't sing, you were a mistake, and you were discontinued. Hey, that palette was only discontinued because the parent company wanted to sever ties with you after emerging allegations that you had been texting sexually suggestive material to underage kids. So you need to cut yourself some slack. Oh no, he thought I said he needed more cutouts in his slacks. He's going to get another Coachella outfit. Enough jokes and self-referential attempts. Let's just wrap this up by telling us a few things about the product that will make me want to actually buy it, because right now, couldn't tell you. I know it's not rainbow colors, and I know that a neutral palette isn't revolutionary, but after the paints, I really wanted our second launch to be a staple product. 24 beautiful neutral shades, perfect for any makeup artist of any skill level. Because isn't the makeup that you guys do most just basic? Hey, yeah, yeah.
James, please, you can't be raising your voice or scream singing after having your tonsils removed. Because the doctor said if that didn't teach you a lesson, he was going to take off your whole lower jaw next time. I'm not sure why so many of the top comments on this TikTok post are praising the brand painted for the ad, because although it looks professionally produced, it also fully fails to demonstrate why anybody who isn't a fan of James Charles would buy this palette. It's good for any skill level. Does it come with like special booklets or content that help me achieve professional results? What about it makes it perfect for everybody? You did not say. What makes it different and unique to your brand as an instructor of beautiful makeup for all types of people? Is it like gender neutral? Is it little boys at Coachella? Ooh, we should bleep out that whole sentence probably. But for real, did you just admit that your second product isn't revolutionary and acknowledge that your first product isn't a necessity and then describe your own makeup skills with the pejorative sounding adjective basic? Nice, nice. And which school was it that you attended to learn marketing? No, seriously, where was it? Because the district attorney needs to be notified whenever you change zip codes so they can update the database. Hashtag satire, hashtag comedy, hashtag allegedly. Check mark, notarize, put it in an envelope. That's all I have to say about this particular ad of James Charles, but you can check out my Patreon for a further review of other bad acting moments from James Charles's past. Let me know what you think of this palette. Do you think it's gonna sell? Does it look exactly like another palette you already own? Tell me in the comments below. Seems like this is not gonna be the big seller for Christmas that he once was able to achieve with Morphe, but hey, Morphe's too, so good luck out there. Let me know in the comments below. Also give this video a big thumbs up if you wanna see even more clip breakdowns on makeup content like this. But most importantly, if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you click that subscribe button right over here. That way you never miss new videos from me. I upload several every time I see you. Click the notifications, turn them on, and you'll be the first to know when I'm gonna bring you little water, Sylvie. You guys are all the greatest. Thank you so much for indulging in your makeup obsession with me today. <laughs> Dry throat. I will see you next time. Yeah.